Hey guys, and how's it going? Hey, I picked up this 1969, I believe, Benelli Buzzer, that's the name of it, mini bike that uh, was with another machine, machines that I purchased, and it was kind of like an add-on at a later date. It does not turn, the engine is locked up. I don't know the backstory on it other than pretty much that. Uh, it's, what, 53, 54 years old, probably been off the road for 40 of those last, you know, 53 years, and it kind of shows it. You can definitely tell it's been sitting in a, uh, a barn of some sort or garage or basement or something along those lines. Doesn't look like it was outdoors because the seat's still there and all that. But it looks pretty complete. It may have a headlight and or taillight that was supposed to be on it. A lot of mini bikes, you know, of course, lost that stuff for a couple crashes afterwards. They got ripped off. I do believe, I think, like the handlebars fold down and all. It's kind of like a Italian version of it maybe a Honda 50 or a Honda 70 but again it is locked up I don't know if it's locked up just from sitting or if it's locked up from uh, you know it, the motor blew up and then that's the last time it got ridden so let's go bring her over to the operating table let's go see what we got and see if we can either uh, find out what happened to it and or revive it Let's go take a better look at it, see what we got to work with. Now oh, we got for you know, 1970. Close. I don't know if it would show if that was a street bike or not. I guess it probably made like both versions, like the Hondas were too. It's like I had a toolkit here, it's missing the little door that's on it, and the kit's gone. I don't know what that was supposed to say originally. I think it's a 65 cc's and two stroke. I don't know if it has a, almost looks like it has a clutch on it, huh? Maybe on this side, we got three levers up top. We got one here and two on this side. Sometimes it might be also for, to uh, start it, you would pull a lever in. Again, not sure on that. It looks like it's from New Jersey originally, the dealer that sold it. I don't know if that's the original carb or that kind of looks like a moped carb from the that's probably what they would use. A moped carb from, you know, back in around the same time frame. What's that say? Sure. She looks to be original. Yeah, fairly decent condition. What do you say? We go in. That's <laughs> no, loose. Let's go get a light. And pop it in there. See what we look like for uh, stalactites. Got some tape on the coil. It's a little beat up. That's just probably just from trail riding. And like I said, you go to kick it, it's it's locked up right now. Let's right, go grab a light. All right, try and relax. This won't hurt a bit. Oh yeah, definitely looks like a. <laughs> they look great, but at least it's still holding fluid. It's not blown out on the bottom. On that side. All right, that's, I wonder if that's like the oil that's left from the two-stroke and would just what evaporated out of it. Let's um, get a plug out of it. First thing is we see if we can get it to turn, you know. So let's get the plug out. Definitely seems like it's got a pretty good seat height adjustment. It's kind of like a, a bicycle, like a it's called muscle bike with a banana seat. Right, let's go. Plug is new. A little cruddy, but new. Let's um. Yeah, we got nothing on the on the crank. Um. I wonder maybe we can try popping one of the covers off the side. So, because on a kickstart, you, you can only force it one direction. Where if we get one of the covers off, we can try to go. You know, if the piston's trying to travel up, say, we can back it up and see if it wants to go backwards, and then possibly clean up some of the crap. Yeah, let's go try the other side first. That's where we can have a clutch on. The other side might have a, a nut in the center we could throw a wrench on it. Not quite sure what holds that on. It's like one screw right there, maybe. No. Nope. Oh, there's that. <laughs> All right, let's um looks like somebody's definitely been in there. That doesn't even look like the the correct nut is supposed to be on there. Where's that light? And yeah, a little cannibalized together. 
like it's on. There's just like this threads behind it, like it's got a, a collar on it. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. All right, let's go grab our wrench and see if we can get that. I should probably just grab it. And... Nah. Huh? I think it just moved. <laughs> it's hitting though. Yeah. So I hit something solid. That's like the pistons going up and down. It sounds like something is, it feels like something is in the combustion chamber. I think maybe we should probably pull the head off so we don't do too much damage. I don't know if you can see in there. Yeah, I don't think, we'll, the head gasket is probably brass or something anyway, so you should be okay taking it apart. Let's go try taking that cylinder head off and see what's stopping the piston from coming all the way up instead of trying to force it through. I think just for the ease of uh, filming and stuff too, so we'll get the fender out of our way just so we have access to it and see what's going on. I tried swinging the bike to one side and see if it would be open, but it really wasn't. I decided to spin the bike around and uh, put a jack underneath it just so we can kind of flop that front end back and forth and possibly work around that fender. Might still end up taking it off, but let's get that opened up and see what we got. I don't know what parts um, availability is going to be on something like this. I don't know if they made their own engine or, you know, it's just something out of a lot of the mopeds were, they would make the bodies of them and just all, everybody can take the same Morelli, Minelli. And get them buzzed back and it's already wiggling. It's a good time. I'm going to go grab a uh, the container to put all the hardware into. Washers are gonna fall out, but that's right. Come on. What do we got? I don't know. <laughs> Is there even a head gasket in there? I see some pitting on the on the outside of there, but it's, um... yeah, there is one. Okay, let's go see if it'll uh... what we're hitting on. Might be eternal. I don't see anything really funky on there. It's, it might be just like a ridge. Is that? Let's go turn that piston down a little. There you go. Yeah, it's just like a rust ridge. Look at that. I get back the light up. How much rust is on it? That's good. We should be able to clean that up. Let's go take a get you over on the other side. Yeah. We probably could have broke through that, but why? <laughs> um, I wonder if maybe like a little WD and a scotch bright might be in order for not uh, doing much damage. I don't know if we can get the head gasket out of there so we don't beat that up. Looks like just a piece of... Yeah, maybe. Usually it's like copper or something. I don't want to damage it though. Come on. Nice. At least we know it was kind of loved a bit. Yeah. yeah let's go get some uh, Scotch Brite, and we'll see how much of that rust kind of breaks off of there. Possibly, you maybe we'll take like a wire wheel or something too, and on a drill, just clean up that ridge. How's that better? That always looks good. So I look in the back of the camera and I see how washed out it is. That's the port down below. All right. I got the fender out of our way so we can get in there a little bit. I did see I already lost one piece down the exhaust, but it's like the hard, crunchy something coming out of it. Good thing we didn't try moving it through it. I don't know if it's just a chunk of rust that fell off of it, but it was a big hunk of something. So hopefully it's not ring. I got a, uh, a drill with a uh, brass. Where are you? Brass wire wheel on it. Go throw some uh, oil on that, see if we can get in there and do a little bit of something like that. Yeah, before I go and uh, 
polish on that. I was looking at the head gasket put on top of the cylinder head. You could definitely see where something, if you might have been that piece that I just had, was bouncing around and, and getting jammed between the cylinder head and back too. So definitely uh, either something's broken there. Ho I'm hoping it's not rings, that we lost part of the rings and, and that was what was floating around up, up top. But uh, we're going to go find out, I guess, shortly. All right, let's go back to uh, polishing that up. doing pretty good. This side looks better. Let's see if it'll go all the way up. Yeah. There it goes. It just broke through. Good. I'm going to go work on that a little bit and then maybe what we'll do is we'll throw the cylinder head back on and we'll see if it's uh, got any compression. You still want the rings going over the uh, the damage because if the rings are okay, you're going to tear them up. Yeah. Feels pretty good. It doesn't matter if it's a divot going in. You just don't want anything outward taking them out. That needs a little bit more love. Let's give it a kick. Trying to see if it leaves any like heavy oil lines behind on it. Sometimes uh, it will give a, a indication of what you got happening. Looks pretty even all the way around. It'll rub that crud out. I'm gonna go rinse it out a few more times with like the W and kicking it over like that. Just get rid of that that rusty little crappy oil. Well, while it's like it is, why don't we uh, try checking for spark? I'm going to say no. <laughs> See what we get. Uh, while it's easy to kick, you know. It, it, it didn't at first. Now it does. All right. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to get too cocky because you know how that works. The head's bolted back on. Let's throw the plug in. Give her a couple of kicks and see how she feels. It should be much. It's it's a moped, you know, essentially. You have anything? Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's um. The plug. I see why the plug wire was taped on. Just fell right off. Uh. Let's get that air cleaner off of there. And we'll make sure the choke is off. We'll try dribbling a little bit of fuel in it. See if we get anything out of it. Yes. No. <laughs> Sounds like a plan to me. Not quite sure how that comes off of there. See, it's like a. I wanted to add more to it. There's like a bale in front of it. I bet you this is. Yeah. I wonder if there was more to it and it's already missing, you know? That's a <laughs> that's part of a soda can. That's what that is. And this I think is just stuck in there. Yeah. So somebody just made a part for it. All right, and then our choke is this lever on the side. Let's get that back. I think you got to hit. I don't know if the throttle works. You think you hit full throttle and they pop off? Yes. No. It's that full throttle. Here we go. Yeah. Let's go give her a little dribble of fuel. And the intake. So you can wiggle that plug wire back on there. See what flies out of the exhaust. Let me back you up a little. That's see what she does. Let's see if we can get by hand.
Is this still full throttle? Yeah. Let me back that off a little. Going up. Think it went. There it goes. Give it a little throttle. Oh yeah, she'll live. Quiet too, huh? Awesome. It's getting there. All right, we need to start picking away at some of its issues to keep her going. And I think the first is probably get that carb off of there and see what the bowl condition of the bowl looks like. All the crud. Now we gotta get that gas tank off. So let's go work on those two. I think it's just one screw in the center there. Should take that off. You got two up top to slide. Let's get the carb off. And we'll get that soaking and then we'll look at the gas tank while it's doing its thing. Yeah. Seems to be a, uh, a resurgence of mopeds I noticed the last couple of years around here. I don't know if it's everywhere, but like um, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, which is, I don't know if you call it a city. It's more a town. It's an oceanfront town. I think they call it a city. I got a fuel line that's petrified on the other side. Let's get that off of there first. Yeah, they got a uh, a moped uh, clan of sorts that goes riding. I know Boston too. Boston's got a fairly decent one. Boston, you, you could see. Yeah, it's got a lot of crud in it, huh? That's a filter that's back in there. Um, that gets together and we'll just go for a ride. Because when you're in those cities, you, can, you can't really get going faster than 25, 30 anyway in all, in all the city roads. It's been definitely got some crud going through it. All right, back to where we were. We're gonna get. Did we work the body off? There we go. We got two more screws holding the slide in. Let's see if we can get those out. Leave the cable hooked up. The the throttle pulled up, but it had a lot of drag on it. I don't know if it's the cable itself or the. Um, The hand throttle up top could be the slide here yeah so uh a lot of the you know it seems like it's mostly mopeds but i would think like this stuff as long as it's street legal and it's like that 50 cc style would kind of fit in with them and what's going on here like that latch that's that latch for the um to release the choke there we go all right so take this over on the Bench real quick, we'll pop that bowl off, see what it looks like. I don't know if I told this story before. I used to work in Boston, and uh, like on a Friday night, the traffic would be so bad getting out. We used to get out of work at 6 o'clock. Um, I actually kind of started, we used to take out uh, mountain bikes, and we'd mountain bike around Boston, like the like, urban mountain biking. You'd like ride up and down stairs and, you know, all that kind of thing. One-way traffic, going the wrong way. And uh, I'd like kill an hour. Just putting around the city. It was a blast. I, I could see like trying to do it on mopeds too. Maybe not in the, the rush of traffic, but I could see that the allure of putting everywhere around at 25 miles an hour. What do we got? Oh, she's dark, huh? At least it's like it looked like it got protected from the oil. Let's go get a little um, poker. Get the that out. actually while we're here, let's get the main jet out of it. Nice. I mean, I'm kind of glad to see that. Sometimes you open them up and they're they're nothing but uh like dust, aluminum dust. And I want to kind of try to take up mountain biking a little bit. Getting old, we gotta keep the exercise going. You start falling apart. Yeah, it not look too bad. All right, let's go uh, throw this in the soaker and we'll work on that gas tank. Yeah, a little part, somebody sent me this. Gotta throw them in here to keep the jets and stuff from getting lost in the washer. That can go in as a body. This can come off with the tip on that. If that's good, I, I'm not going to um, 
expose that to um, the fluids. That's the needle from the needle and seat. And it has like a, uh, I don't know what this vintage of this is going to be like. I think now they're nitrile. I don't want to corrode that. Let's go throw that back in and let's go pick. Sometimes these gaskets will grow and they'll be shot. Let's see if we can get this out of here. Yeah, so I always see the mopeds kind of growing around. I don't know if they, they team up with um, the other little 50cc stuff like this or not. That would be registered different. I think in New Hampshire, that's where I am. The uh, I think it just has to be 50cc and under and have pedals. That's about the guidelines to get a moped plate. And a moped plate's like, it's like 14 bucks I think the first year then like three dollars every year after to keep it going no insurance or anything all right we'll go throw that in the wash and we'll get the gas tank out and we'll leave that and that alone see emulsion tube in the center there I don't know if that'll lift out let's go give her a quick try I don't want to damage it if it doesn't sometimes they're pressed in yeah I don't think so all right, it wasn't that cruddy, so we'll leave that alone. Let's go see what's holding that tank on. I want to, we'll leave all this hooked up onto it because I want to dump out the, all the crap that's in it. It looks like we just got maybe one bolt. It might have like um, little rubber seals that it kind of locks into. And it looks like about it, huh? Yeah, let's get the bolt out of there and see what it does. Yeah, I see some padding up on top there. It's kind of like a little leather patch with cloth on it. Let's go dump it out. See what crud comes out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely looks like it's like all the gas evaporated and just the two-stroke oil was left behind, which is fine. Again, I'd rather that than a couple of chunks came out. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Hopefully there's no rust. Let's see if we can get this pet off of here. Get a wrench on that. We'll turn it, we'll twist that out of there. Let's see if we just start flushing it. And we'll see what we got to work with. It look terrible though. Hmm. Oh, that's the pickup right there, a little filter. So what they have over in Italy, like were these made for export or was it like the same kind of culture? Well, for us it was the gas crisis and all of a sudden all the stuff started getting real popular. I think it was, you know, places overseas were already making them, but then all of a sudden you look in your Sears catalog and you see like mopeds and stuff being offered. That's a little cruddy. That might be like pipe dope or something that's on it. I can go rinse it out with hot water first and then we'll see what we got left behind. Here we got it rinsed out a little bit. Yeah, see what we're working with. I don't want to, I don't know if I want to put chemicals in it or not. Like sometimes on a gas tank, it'll have um, like a protective layer underneath it. Yeah, sometimes if they're all rusted, it doesn't really matter. But, um, what did we use on the last one? We did one. It took all the crap out. Lacquer thinner? It might have been something like that. That's got a bit of a cholesterol problem. That's the uh, where the pet goes. Definitely closing off. Here, just pick that right out of there. I don't think what it was. I, I want to say it was lacquer thinner. Um, maybe... Um, We'll try a little bit of it. That might be the screen. I might be able to get that screen out of there that you can see from the other side. Let me pop you in the stand. I 
I think it just fell right through. Nothing there now. Come on the other end. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Uh, let's go put a cork, put a cork in it, in there. And we will try a couple of little chemicals. Let's see which one does. Which one does the best? Without, I don't want to. <laughs> I want to beat up the paint on the outside. What was the mix? Kind of says it on it, right? You read it. Read owner's manual. You can't just write on it, right? Not sure what that says right there. Yeah, some kind of percent is, is written right there. I don't know, like 40 to 1, 50 to 1 be my guess. We should have the cork in the bottom side, but we don't have anything that uh, locks the cap in. It's missing its seal. I don't know, maybe we could just try. It probably went all the way around there, huh? Maybe like a large rubber O-ring. See what I could dig up. Let's see. What... No, they're probably not gonna be. Yeah, it might be. It's just gonna want to pop off. I think it needs to be kind of the other way, you know, where it. Um... Yeah. You just shove it in there. Even just temporarily to hold the whatever we put in there. Close. I think if we click it right there, let's go find out. Pick your poison. I wouldn't say it was lacquer thinner. So let's go try that one first. I, I think it was one of these three. Fortunately, there's not that much in here, but I don't think we don't have to fill it. You can just kind of like splash it around. Give her a little bit of that. And uh, if that works, we'll throw some like some nuts or something in there. Give it a shake, shake. <laughs> yeah. You get to stay. I think it seemed like it, it did it fairly quickly. We'll pop the cork out. Mm. It's taking some crap out. I'm going to experiment with the other two, and I'll let you know. And next is lacquer, or uh, acetone. Mm. Not it. Seems to do about the same. Whatever we used last time, it, it seemed like it just really just broke it right off of there. And like all that, that, I don't want to call it, the tar that's left in the tank. When, it, it's not going to do anything but rust. But it was like the, all that, that sediment that was in the tank came out and broke it up. Hmm. I thought that would have been it too. It says right on it. Cleans project residue. residue. All right. One more. Actually stepped up to mineral spirits. I think we need a little bit of agitation to go in there. Pick a hardware. I'm gonna say, okay. that feels like steel. Let's go, maybe them. It's got some nice kind of sharp edges looking thing. And I think the winner is gonna be, we'll go with lacquer thinner. Make sure it stays sealed. Let's try throwing a plastic bag over it. Got a 
brush that on there. Let's go shake shake. Well, that's gonna take forever. I definitely think we were right with the lacquer thinner. That's just shaking them by hand by a little bit. Problem is, I see a little bit of red coming off. I don't want to take out too much of the paint, so I'm going to try to rinse it with water and stop that from... Well, it's better. But I think the rest of it's just rust, and that, that would be like muriatic acid to go clean that off. But I'm getting a little impatient. I think it's clean enough where it's not going to have contaminants go down into the carb and clog it, but yeah, it's one bolt that holds it on. <laughs> I feel like later we probably can go do that and let it soak with some muriatic and clean it up. Some people like to do vinegar and, and whatnot too. Yeah, let's go check on our stew. What's doing? That should be just fine. Ooh, that's warm. Cool. We're rinsing them off. Ooh. We'll throw that back together. Let's try to make an O-ring for the cat. I cut out. I had a larger one. Cut that much out. Should be about the right diameter. And supposedly, you can crazy glue it together. If your glue has any glue left in it. There's a little drop. Should be all you need though, right? Isn't that what the commercial showed in the 70s? Put a drop on it, on his helmet, and he suspended himself from a beam. Yes, no? A little mismatch. Will that make ourself? that side in first to protect it. Be a hair too big. <laughs> we gotta cut it and redo it anyway. Yeah. So did it hold? Let's pull it apart. It feels pretty good. We gotta take a link out of the chain though. Let's go with about that much. Might look I'm out of glue now. I think crazy glue cures with um, the moisture in the air. All right, so we should be able to get it. My guess it was probably a piece of cork that was in there before. I'll keep an eye out. Well, we got something to. There we go. Give it some tension on that cap, you know. All right, put the car back together. The whopping like four pieces that was in there. <laughs> you didn't miss much. The last thing we got in that fuel system, just kind of cleaning out that pet and that filter. That looks a little gooey, huh? Might have to do a little mining. That's yeah, full of dirt. Might actually uh, just blow that out. Let's open it. Ugh. More of the oil. Let's um, see if we can shoot it out of there. There we go. Looks like it's got a. Uh, Two ports in there, though. It, you, you only have one line going to it, so we, I wonder if it had a um, a standoff for the reserve. That's what it looks like. That's why it's that's why it's got two ports in there. One probably had a metal tube that stood up taller, and it definitely looks like somebody ground those threads, huh? Into there. That's why all that tape and crap was in there. Just trying to hold that together. Guys, right, so I'm gonna try to clean that up, and hopefully we can get that to seal back to the tank. Ready to slap that carb on there. And that slide, like I said, is real gummy. 
It actually feels like it's it's the grip itself though. Let's try. The end's already blown out. Let's go shoot a little WD underneath it. And it just feels like chalkiness on the grip. I thought they take it apart, but sometimes you do damage. So let's just see if we can cheat ourselves a little bit on this. If not, well, I don't have a problem removing it. Well, do that. Yeah, that was it. But good for your hands too. Cleans it. Yeah, almost like it wants to return on its own now. Might dribble a little bit of like a graphite or something in there later. Anyway, see how that choke works? Get around there. So, just click up into place and stay there. And then when you give it full throttle, it should pop off. There it goes. So, so that should go. All right, let's go pop that on there. Pop the gas tank on there. Put some fuel in it. See what happens. I didn't put gas in it yet, but I'm not quite sure what we want to do about that. Generally, sometimes it's like a thread in here. You, you can rotate it and it should like go into the center of it. I don't know if that's feeling that way. Sometimes yeah, you just cut you cut it back a little. I don't know what we got for length. We got enough to, yeah, let's knock off about a quarter inch or so. See if it'll, it'll bite a little better. Let's give it about that much. Should have a boot on there anyway. I don't know if the boot is what holds it. I'm sure we can find something, right? Let's just try to get her together and get to reach. <laughs> it's gonna pull out of there. I know it is. <laughs> it's like so close. To <laughs> oh well. I could probably loosen the clamp up and slide the coil maybe a little bit that way. That should stay enough for now though. Let's uh, try putting gas in and see what happens. This is a 50 to 1 non-ethanol, just reused in this can. It's not the fuel that's in here. Right, let's not get crazy. <laughs> gas is on right now. It looks like it's pissing out of the um, pissing out of the, the plastic hits. Go shut that off. Yeah, it's dripping. See if we can try to reposition that a little bit, get a better seal. If not, we might have to take the screen out of there. We'll just put like an O-ring around the outside. What I threaded the pet on is about two turns in that um, it caught. So like most of the threads are gone, but it seemed like it's got a decent bite. Let's we'll see if that'll do it. Nah, I can still see it. Let's try flipping it over. I think at one time that was meant to, that piece of plastic was meant to make a seal, but it's gotten so brittle over the years, you know. Let's try doing that. Well, in the bet that we're gonna have to try to put an O ring in there, though. Nitrile. Nitrile? Like quill? Yeah, what now? Better. Yeah, I still get wet. Alright, I'm gonna go pick at that for a little bit, try no ring, see if it'll get to stop. Yeah, try that one. Yeah, it's hair too small still. Cause it's gonna have to sit on the outside lip. If it tucks in, that's it. I think this set's about as big as it's gonna get. It's a nitro o rings. These are quite fat, so I don't think these are. I guess we could try it, right? As long as it seals.
I wonder if I can put that filter back in too. Let's see if that does it first. Yeah. I'm going to take it apart one more time. I'm going, to, I'm going to try putting this back in with it and see if it cures it. Is it the third time the charm? Come on. Good. Pop the airing off. Staying dry. All right, let's give her a kick. Not sure how well it's going to do with the back tire cinched down. Let's see. No choke. Try it. Let's try no choke. All right. No, <laughs> it won't take gas up. That's all you get. <laughs> Let's uh, turn the choke on. Unfortunately, I think I might have killed the rear tube. The tire spun in the rim. And I might have killed the tube that was in it. Yeah, I went and I ripped over. Meathead. It was dumb on my part. Can't even see where the stem is. Oh well, damage is already done. There goes six bucks down the drain, huh? Uh, let's um, flip it around in the stand. We'll fire it up again and we'll see how that kind of the drivetrain part of it works. It's got a center stand, we don't even need this. Let's see if it'll just go by hand. There we go. It's gonna smoke for a little bit, probably all the oil that's in it. Get a screwdriver, turn down the idle. Get a blow! Lock it up, or is it just running out of fuel or something? Yeah, feels free. What if it's the intake leak? It's revving real high. I got it, um, I'm not even on the throttle. Yeah, it's like somebody goobered up some crap in there, huh? It's acting like an intake leak. With that, it's flooding over. <laughs> it runs, it spins the back tire. That's good. We're getting there. I don't know what this does. Which lever is that? So what would that do? I don't know. Seems like it's got an automatic clutch. You, you wouldn't hold it in to stop, would you? If, if it is that kind of setup, usually there's a lock on it. I don't know. It ain't coming in owner's manual. I'm gonna hop up in there again, try to get the fire and uh, we'll grab that and see what happens. Maybe it's like a clutch to make it go. Hard to say. You would think like 
that position, like maybe you have to grab it to make make it go, and it's just kind of frozen. Guess you gotta pop that cover off. Huh? Let's go fire it up one more time. Yeah, no matter whatever position I put it in, it doesn't seem like it makes any difference. But I'm not sure if it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. It acted like it had a automatic clutch in it. <laughs> we go turn the fan on and go clear us out. We got four screws holding that. Yeah, let's go take a peek inside, see what's happening. What is that? I'm just a breather? Adjustment or a breather? Yeah, let's go air out. Place your best. What's inside? Crack them all loose. I don't think there's any oil in there. I'm gonna find out. Yeah, it's dripping. Let me uh, run that back in and grab a pan. Oh yeah, he's gushing. Guess we're changing that out, huh? So what do we have? It looks like a clutch setup to me. Yeah. Push on the center of it. Definitely looks like a clutch back to me. Huh. I don't see any shift or anything on it. Why that would have it like that, but who are we to argue with who built it, right? Um hmm. Let's go see if it's like direct. So that's direct, definitely. And it's weird though, like why would you hold the clutch in? Why would you hold the clutch in to stop? It's like opposite. But you would have to sit there and there's, there's there's no shifter on it, right? Like I see if you could pop it in neutral, but if it has no neutral, like if you just start up and go. Yeah. Is it like some of them I know you push the and it becomes the shifter? Let me do a little homework, find out what they have for them. I thought it was just a centrifugal mini bike clutch. Try to look if there's anything that's like a rod that came out that's broken off or anything. Yeah, it's the only lever that's on it. That'd be kind of weird to go back there to shift anyway, wouldn't it? Huh. What's that right there? And why would you have a gearbox? To, you know, with uh, oil. I gotta do a little homework. Well, I think that the clutch setup that is on there is kind of what I thought. And again, it's just a guess on my part. I, th I think it's supposed to squeeze it to make it go, but I think it's stuck is what the problem is. So unfortunately, I'm kind of running out of time. I was gonna pull the motor on the uh, skid steer Twisted an ankle, so I figured I'd work on something a little bit easier on the bench. So I'm kind of jumping back and forth between the two of them. So I'm not quite sure what you're going to see at what time and all. But we still got more to do. I got to order a tube <laughs> for some reason. Um, and then we'll get into it. We'll take the clutch apart, figure out what's going on with that. We got to you know, pull that off. We'll look into the brakes. I actually kind of like to get rid of Like this should all be chrome and the handlebars should be chrome. I don't know if we'll just take some Scotch-Brite. I'd rather have them like the rusty. I'd rather have it look 
just the old beat up lookingness to it that it's you know that it is 53 years old instead of that black paint that's on here but again getting ahead of myself so for this one guys i think we're going to kind of wind her down i know it's a uh, short but uh this next two weeks i'm kind of cut on time a little bit but got her running actually sounds pretty decent a little boggy i think again we're not running an air cleaner or anything on it so that may help it seemed like the idle fixed itself kind of sort of and or we may have an intake leak that's down there causing a problem so we'll find out crank leak that that would suck but uh, uh for this one guys i think we're gonna go wrap her up and uh nice to see this thing a little putting around <laughs> for some reason i i just love these little bikes they it's just they make me laugh you have so much fun on such like some would say you have more fun on the little tiny bikes than you would on like a full-size harley or some of the big bikes that i have it just I seem to hurt myself more on them too. <laughs> All right, guys. With that, I'm rambling. I'll get together with you soon, and uh, I'll see you later.